We all know that this pandemic over the past going on two years has been a hardship on, for all of us at a personal level and at a community level. We also know that as difficult as it's been for frankly all of us here in this room, our most vulnerable neighbors have been hit the hardest, especially when we think about those that are having uh, issues of housing insecurity. The issue of homelessness is not unique to Providence. It's complex and it's multifaceted and it requires our entire community to come together with solutions that are both creative and compassionate. The rise of homelessness is one piece of the larger affordable housing crisis. When there's a shortage of housing available, the most vulnerable individuals, single women with children, folks with mental and physical health conditions, those involved in the criminal justice system, and many others are often squeezed out of their housing first. The complexity of this issue requires many different strategies. And as part of the city's commitment, we have invested five and a half million dollars since the start of the pandemic to address homelessness. Here, we're announcing another significant investment in the housing and social supports and social supports that our most vulnerable residents need at this time. In fact, I'm proud to stand with members of the city council who I just mentioned and others today to announce another investment to address homelessness in our community. Together, we're announcing a $495,000 award of American Rescue Plan dollars to Crossroads, Rhode Island to support a new citywide mobile diversion program for Providence residents experiencing, experiencing unsheltered homelessness. Meet people where they are, and we help provide the support and resources that they need to end their homelessness. Sometimes that is simply a referral to a partner agency offering uh, substance use or mental health supports. Sometimes it's helping with housing applications. Sometimes it's reuniting people with members of their family so they can go back and live where they had been previously. And oftentimes it means a one-time financial assistance for utility arrears, transportation, security deposits, and first and last month's rent. This grant will allow us to hire two full-time housing stabilization case managers and bring those resources to individuals living outdoors and in places not meant for human habitation. We look forward to working with the city, downtown improvement district, and all of our partner agencies and other organizations to maximize the outcomes towards ending homelessness in the city. Thank you.